What's going on guys, it's Zigzag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick guide to the camera generations in GeoGuessr. If you watch my channel quite a bit, you know that camera generations are quite important to getting accurate guesses on GeoGuessr, especially in the pro scene. And so I'm going to be taking you guys through the best ways to distinguish the different camera generations. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so first one is probably the most obvious one, and that is Generation 1. So Generation 1 is extremely blurry. You can never read text on the side of the road, basically. Even if you're this close to a sign, it really isn't quite legible. And you can just see that this is quite a low-quality picture. Things are not clear at all here. Also, one thing to note with Generation 1 is that often when you look at the sun, there's going to be some, like, kind of visual artifacts. For example, this big beam coming out of the sun is not something you'd see in other camera generations. It's worth bearing in mind that Generation 1 is mostly just found in Australia, New Zealand, and the USA but you can find it in other countries as well very rarely. All right, so now I'll show you guys how to examine the different camera generations for yourselves. Come up to the left-hand side here where it says Street View and click it, and then you can actually see every single time the Google car drove past that particular spot. Okay, so that's 2008. Now, if we jump to 2009, we've got Generation 2, and you can see this is an immediate massive upgrade. So normally you won't see too much Generation 1, but Generation 2 is quite common. And now we can read these signs and we can get a fairly good idea of what's going on around us. And so Generation 2 is actually quite easy to distinguish from the others, I would say. We've got this wide blur around the bottom of the car and on the top of the car. So we've got the halo and a wide blur at the bottom. And what's very important is that this blur is perfectly circular. So if you look, if I trace the outside of it, where the blur is, it might be hard for you to see, but I'll link this location in the description so you can see it. But basically, it's going to be a perfect circle the whole way around. Likewise, this halo above our heads is going to be a perfect circle as well. There's also often some discoloration, like it's a bit purple. Also, inside the camera lens, there's often this like shiny dust that appears. You can see like someone put their fingers on the lens or something like that. It's very useful and you should always be able to tell if it's generation two or not, because it should be a perfect circle on top and on bottom and everything should be about 10 years old as well. All right, let's move up here to the next camera generation and we are moving to 2014 now where we have camera generation 3. So generation 3 is like the HD version of generation 2. It looks quite nice. We can definitely read all this text just fine. And generation 3 is not too vibrant. The exposure on the camera, the saturation, all that kind of stuff is kind of toned down a little bit even when compared to generation 2 but especially compared to generation 4. And yeah, it's not too much to say. Generation 3 is the most common camera generation around at least in 2022 and you can see it in most countries that have Google Street View. Another thing to note with Generation 3 is that it is the one that has the most Google car meta. For example, if you have a long antenna, a snorkel, a roof rack, or anything like that, then you're probably going to be in a location that is Generation 3. All right, let's move on to the final camera generation here. We're moving all the way to 2021 and watch this difference, okay? So this is what Generation 3 looks like. And here is generation four. Wow, it's very different, actually. A lot of people struggle to tell the difference at the beginning, but this is very different indeed. We have like a massive blob in the sky for the sun, whereas in generation three, let me run it back here. In 2018, for example, we've got the sun. It's like a bright day and it's just a normal circle shape. Whereas we move to 2021 and it takes up a whole blob in the sky. All the colors here are much more vibrant than what we saw before. I mean, compare generation one to generation four and you can just read faraway text relatively easily. So that is really the the best way to get generation four you should have this very vibrant colors even on the overcast day it should be quite vibrant and yeah it's just the nicest view available on google street view at this point also worth mentioning that the google street view cars in generation three are often all different colors but it's very common in generation four like this image here that you will have a blue google car like this let me just clear out a few mistakes that I see a lot of people make when they first start to identify the camera generations. Here we are on a round in Switzerland and we have a very circular and wide blur at the bottom of the car here. But you can see that it is not a perfect circle. We actually have a few bumps in the outside of the blur here. And that is because we're actually in generation three low camera. And so Switzerland and Japan use generation three low camera. The reason being for privacy concerns. But just keep in mind, we don't have the halo above our heads here. No circular halo and no perfect perfect circular blur means that we're going to be in low cam instead of generation two. This is actually generation three. And then also, as I mentioned, if you see an exposed Google car like this one, you're going to be in generation three somewhere. Now I'll flash up four maps, which show where in the world the camera generations appear. Obviously, this is the part where you go and learn what's available where and use it to make some really nice guesses. And I would definitely be willing to make a video in the future where I kind of talk about the different camera generation breakdowns by country, where you can expect to see what, especially talking regionally, so you can get particularly good guesses. But 
But yeah, guys, here's the map for Generation 1 countries. As you can see, mostly Australia and US there. Plenty of other countries have a little bit of it. Then there's Generation 2. That's when Google coverage started to really become quite ubiquitous. And a general rule of thumb is that it tended to be more so in richer countries. Western Europe tended to get Generation 2, whereas, as you can see here, Generation 3 tended to be more so all around the world. Eastern Europe got plenty of Generation 3 as well as many other places in the world. As I mentioned before, most countries will have Generation 3. So more so important is learning Generation 2 and Generation 4. And then finally, we have a map of Generation 4, although this one is definitely liable to change because a lot of countries have been getting Generation 4 recently. Recently. There are like five countries, including Senegal right now, that have Generation 4 footage that's just not been released yet. So we're gonna have to wait and see when that does come out. But guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that answered all your questions. If you have any more questions, happy to answer them. There are also some other good resources on the GeoGuessr Reddit and such that you can also look at if you are still confused. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the video very soon. Goodbye.